Page 42 Unit 3 My Shadow Do you know whenever there is light, someone follows you? Have you ever wondered who it is? Read and enjoy. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me. And what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to the head. And I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. Page 43 The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow. Not at all like proper children, which is always very slow. For he sometimes shoots up taller like an India rubber ball. And he sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. One morning, very early, before the sun I was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an arrant sleepy head, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. Poem by Robert Louis Stevenson New Words India Rubber Ball A ball that can bounce very high Buttercup A yellow flower Arrant Bad Arrant Sleepy Head Completely inattentive. Page 44 Let's read. 1. Who do you think your shadow looks like? 2. Why do you think your shadow jumps into bed before you can? 3. What time of the day do you think it is when your shadow is the tallest? Why? Morning Afternoon, night. 4. Read the lines from the poem and answer the following. He is very, very like me. From the heels up to the head. 1. Who does he refer to? 2. Who does me refer to? 3. Why are he and me alike? Let's talk. Work in pairs and discuss the following. What would you do if a dog chases you? The space is provided. Page 45 You have forgotten your homework copy at home. Blank You are alone in a room and the lights go out. Blank Fun time! Shine a torch behind your hand and see its shadow on the wall. Move the torch a little away from your hand and see the shadow on the wall. Do you find a difference in the size of the hand on the wall? Working together. 1. Work in groups of 5. Make a large hand on a plain sheet. Mark the names of fingers, thumb, and palm on the hand. Use the hints given in the box. 4. Middle Ring Small Thumb 2. Do the actions as given below and observe which part or fingers of your hand is being used. Point at a door. Bounce a ball. Scratch your chin. Twist your ear. Comb your hair. Draw with a pencil. Touch a flower. Page 46. Let's write. 1. Fill in the blanks using one of the words given in brackets. 1. Where is the child? Blank. Parents have come to school. Who? Whose? Which? 2. I saw many houses. Blank were quite spacious. Which, whose, who? 3. Mathematics. Blank is my favourite subject. Is so interesting. Who, which, that. 
Four. The poem, blank you read out, is so lovely. Whose, which, that? Five. I know the street, blank he lives on. Whose, that, which? Six. I like reading books. Blank, have pictures in it. That, who, which? Seven. The old lady, blank, I met in your house, is my neighbor. Whom, that, which? Two. Complete this description by answering the questions below. What do you think is the name of the dog? Why is she called that? What color is she? Do you think she is friendly? What does she like to eat? Page forty-seven. Write a few lines on Mitu and his little dog named Shadow. The space is provided for you. Say aloud. Shoe. Shadow. Fish. Bush. Ship. Sheep. Dish. Wash. Shell. Shade. Wish. Brush. When the sun shines, I can see my shadow right in front of me. When I walk, my shadow walks. When I hop, my shadow hops. When I jump, my shadow jumps. And when I stop, my shadow stops. Poem by Louis Binder Scott. Act out the poem as you read it slowly.